हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज वीडियो इज हाउ टू यूज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव ऑफिस थ्री ऐप सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर रेड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So before we jump into what is OneDrive and how to use it I want to talk to you about a little bit about this one well as you might have an idea about online storage services just like Google Drive OneDrive is also a file storage service in the cloud and it is a part of Microsoft 365 and the big advantage of why people use OneDrive as compared to other online storage services is accessing company files from anywhere and working with them online through any device in any time as we all know that storing and sharing files in the cloud is not a new thing or is not a major thing in fact as i have told you that we have several solution in the market that are offering the services paid one and the free one as well but if we talk about in the business context one drive stands out for being integrated with Microsoft Office 365 applications for example you can use your OneDrive with your Microsoft team and what will happen that anyone and everyone in your team can have access to that particular file which you have just uploaded on to the OneDrive so this is why OneDrive stands out now let's jump into our OneDrive and let's see how it works and what are the different features we get with this particular online storage as you can see i am on to my office 365 and here we have different applications from office 365 and here you can see we have a one drive in case if you do not see it here just click on the app launcher button and here you will have one drive and again in case if you do not see it here just click on all apps and you will have one drive appeared in this list So I'll just open my OneDrive here and this is my OneDrive. These are different files which are by default in here. Let's say you want to create a new file here. So what you will do here, you will just click on this new button and from here you can create a new folder, you can create a word file, excel file, powerpoint presentation and different other Microsoft Office documents let's say i want to create a new word document so i'll just click on it and here what i will do i'll start working on my this word document and it will get saved automatically onto my one drive and i do not have to worry about it because i'll able to access it from anywhere at any time so here we have all those features which we get in our desktop microsoft word we have everything same here and as soon as you are done working with this one you just have to save this one and everything will get saved in here and here is the document too which i had just created and here you can see now here we have the detail about this document so this is how you can create different documents onto your one drive and this is how you can access them and you can use them now let's create a new folder and in that folder we will save our some of work so i'll just click on this option and here i just have to name my folder i'll name it as office work and i'll just click on create and here you can see our folder has been created successfully i'll just open this one in case if you want to upload something into this particular folder you just have to click on this upload button so i will just click on this and here we have further two options whether you want to upload a single file or you want to upload a complete or whole folder let's upload a single file now go to the directory where you have your particular file which you want to upload onto your one drive account let's say i want to upload this document so i will just double click on it and here my file will get uploaded and here you can see we have the message and here we have the file successfully uploaded onto our one drive account in case if you want to download this 
file you just have to click on this button which says download and in case if you want to share this file you have a different option in here here we have an option which says share the selected item with other people so i'll just click on this one and here it will give us some options either we can copy this link and then we can share this link with different people with whom we want to share this file or we can send this file with an email as it is from microsoft so obviously it will use outlook and here you can see it says anyone with the link can add it if you click on this arrow button here we have a different other option it means anyone who will have this link can do anything with this file he can download it he can edit it he can do anything and here it says people with existing access I mean only those people will have the access to whom i already have shared the access credentials and then i have specific people and in that sense i have to set different settings with my this option i'll go back i will cancel this and i will just write the name and email addresses of the people to whom i want to share this file so the easiest one is to just copy your link and you can share this link with anyone with whom you want to share this file so you can just copy it and you are good to go i'll just close this one and i will go back to my files so basically this is my default folder and you might be wondering that from where we have these folders which are desktop then we have pictures then we have microsoft teams chat files i will talk to you about all of these in detail in a little bit of time and here we have one more repository which says recycle bin anything you delete from here will go to recycle bin and then you have to delete and clear your recycle bin in order to delete everything permanently so this is how you can use your OneDrive from your Microsoft 365 account. There is another way I'll show you that how you can use your OneDrive. Just go to your browser and just write OneDrive, hit enter and this is the official website from Microsoft. Just click on sign in and just sign in with your account and you are good to go. Why I am telling you this because in case if you do not have your Office 365 account you can still use OneDrive as a single application. So here I will just sign in with my email account and here you can see I have successfully signed in into my OneDrive account. And here you can see I have my different account in this one and in this one I am signed in with my different account. Because OneDrive only gives you 5 gigabytes of space for free and when you have your microsoft or office 365 account you get more space this is my office 365 account and that is why i am signed in with different account and here i am using the free one and here i have only 5 gigabytes of space and that is why it says go premium and in here you do not see that option and down here you can also see that it says 2.88 megabyte used of 5 gigabytes means I only have 5 gigabytes of space which I can use but in here I do not have this limitation but there is one very important thing which you need to understand and that is working off both these type of account is same it doesn't mean if I am using my paid account or I am using the free account I will get the same features and same functionality in both type of accounts. So I will just close this one now. I'll go back to my Office 365 app and now let's talk about it further. One very good feature as I have told you earlier that is the synchronization and the accessibility. So what you can do, you can download the OneDrive app for your desktop as well. So go to your browser and search for you can just download this application what it will do it will sync your desktop and your particular folder with your onedrive account i'll show you that how it works just download this one i have already downloaded it so that is why i'm not going to download it again and now let's install our onedrive for our desktop I did not want to show this but there is some particular thing which is really important. Here I have my OneDrive setup. I will just double click on it and we will install this one onto our desktop. And here it is getting everything ready for us. So we will wait for it to get completed 
and then we will move on ahead and here you might have noticed that we have one more folder here and it says OneDrive. If you click on it, here is the repository, but here is something else what I want to show. Here you can see we have OneDrive icon, but we have a line on it. It means it is not working at the moment and it is updating. If you click on it, here you can see it is updating our OneDrive. So we are done with everything. And now what we need to do, we just need to use this one. Here you can see we have documents, pictures and personal vault. If you remember when I was using my personal account, which was free one, we had three repository there. First one was documents, then we had pictures and then we had personal vault and same we have here. If you go to your help and settings section, go to your settings and here we have an option which says add an account. I will just click on it and what I will do, I will add my Office 365 account so that I can show you everything which I had shown you onto my Office 365 app. So I will just sign in and then we will move on ahead. So here it is signing us in and then I will move ahead and I'll show you some very important thing. Here it says next and again it says choose this folder or we can use a new one. I'll choose this one and here you have one more OneDrive repository here. Click on next here. Again click on next and again click on next here. And here it says if we want to get the mobile app for our OneDrive or not, I'll click on just later. And here we are good to go. Now, if you go to your icon tray here, here you can see we have a small icon of OneDrive. If you just click on it and here you can see we have different options regarding our OneDrive. And these are different files which I have uploaded into my OneDrive account. And here it says open folder. If you click on it, this is the folder of OneDrive account onto my desktop or you can say onto my computer. And here we have shortcuts as well. At the moment, I am using two accounts of my OneDrive and that is why I have these two shortcuts here. If I go to my icon tray here, here I have two icon as well. So what I will do now, I will copy a particular file and I will paste it into this directory and I'll show you that what will happen. So I'll just copy a simple particular file and I'll go back to my repository or you can say directory of OneDrive and I will just paste that file here. And here you can see it just got pasted here. And here if you notice, we have a green sign. It means this file has been successfully uploaded onto the OneDrive as well. So how cool it is. We just have to upload and add our files into this particular repository and all the things and all the files will get uploaded onto the OneDrive on its own. So now if I go back to my OneDrive online account, here we are and we just have to reload this page. And here you can see we have that file here .NET Core versus .NET Framework. So it means we have successfully synchronized our files from our desktop or you can say from our computer to our OneDrive account. So how cool it is. You just have to upload your work from your local repository and everything will get synced up with your OneDrive account whenever you will have internet access and you do not have to do anything on your own. Everything will get finished up with your OneDrive account application. So till now we have seen that how we can upload or how we can add different documents and different files onto our computer and they will get synced up with our OneDrive account on their own. But here is one very important thing and that is let me go back to my computer or my folder and in case if I delete any one of these from here, let's say delete this one and now I will go back to my OneDrive account and let's refresh this page. And here you can see we do not have that particular file any longer. So as you can see, when we added the file from our computer, it got added here. And when we deleted our file from our computer, it got deleted from here as well. So this is how it works. One very important thing, or you can say a really cool feature, which I want to show you is this is my desktop folder. Anything I have onto my desktop will get synced up onto my OneDrive account as well. 
so if i create a new file or if i paste any file onto my desktop here will get on to the OneDrive as well. This is my OneDrive account. And if I open my desktop folder, here you can see I have these things appeared here, which were on to my desktop. And if I go to my desktop, let me view my show desktop icons here. So these are different files which I have onto my desktop. And for the confirmation, I'll again go back to my OneDrive application. And here I have all those files. If I go back and here I have one more folder, which is pictures and everything which i will have onto my pictures folder onto my desktop or onto my computer will also get synced up onto this account here we have two different options first one is view option and then we have sort option in case if you want to sort your documents let's say you have hundreds of documents in your onedrive account and you want to sort all of them with particular criteria so here we have different options we can sort them with type name modified and different other options and then we can view all of our documents and all of our stuff with list view compact list and tiles so this is how it looks like now and here you might have noticed that we have different things in here these are my different teams from my microsoft teams if i click on any one of these so here i will have all the documents here which i have in my microsoft teams but at the moment i did not have used this one drive with my microsoft team and that is why i'm not getting any files from my microsoft team in here so it means you can use your one drive with your microsoft teams as well and anything you share or anything you get in your microsoft team will get synced up and will get uploaded into your OneDrive account on its own so this is how you can use OneDrive with different other office 365 application and with that we got to the end of today's video and i hope now you have better idea and better understanding that what is OneDrive, how it works and what are different feature it provide and i hope now you must have liked this video and if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it if you have something particular to ask please leave a comment below we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care